Yep, I'm on water control again. It's flooding. Okay, so this morning we've already had a little bit of the cows getting out and we had rain yesterday, but um, we had a little storm roll through and um, we got a little flash flood going on here. It came real quick and it'll pass. It, it should be gone. Sorry, clearing ways. It should be gone. See it really rolling through here. Um, the babies are all safe. Uh, so it, it'll roll right on through here and down to the road and all that good stuff. So, but it is really rolling on. Need to go up here and see because this is washing, but it needs to, uh, yeah, see, it's clogged right there. Let me go around and unclog that. And then I got to get on the milking. See, babies are all high and dry in there and doing good. So, and the mamas are out just grazing wherever. They were dry in there until the rain quit. But, let's see here. I'm trying to, um, should you see my boots there? Yep. Just a, This is just a little flash flood. It wasn't like this this morning. Um, these big clouds rolled through and just went to go on. And we have some drain spouts that help us control it and just get it rolling right on through here so yep that's one of the things about living on the prairie and, and i know you guys see it and you see it um and i've had people just comment again yeah this happens in the spring in the rainy season it happens quite a bit um i'm going over here to clean out where these two gates meet and we'll have some more water rolling through there just in a minute and but uh, it just it always happens this time of year sorry i'm just kicking it out of the way and getting that water moving on and it will start clearing out which will drain all of that in no time flat it literally will be gone in oh i don't know two hours if that see and i'm already moving higher volumes of water just by moving that we cleaned out a couple of stalls and this washed forward. It's supposed to stop there at that T post, but it didn't happen. So it is clearing through here. I'll take you around and show you the other side, which as it clears, as I clear spots, it'll go down to get some more of this out of here. Okay. Yep. There we go. All right. And I'll take you down. And of course, this is going to flood more but it'll keep rolling right on through there as long as I keep it clear so by putting this building here I think it's actually slowed the uh, flow of the water because we've noticed more of this and so I'm gonna have to we've talked about making some drainage ditches or whatever I, I don't know how to get it but we just kind of clear this stuff away and it too will start rolling around the building and down. So, and let me get these. I know you're all right. And they're mad because their pasture's pretty much, um, what do you call it, flooded a little bit. And this rolls right on and down around the building. Now we are trying to back it off because these guys. They don't like how moist it gets up here and, and it does this edge right here where all the water runs off this needs to roll on out and away so um, they don't like how wet that gets but I'll go over here and I'm gonna simply move this fence here and while it's moving pretty good right now when you see it go look like that it really starts just to roll right through so there we go. It's now going to start rolling and roll off this little hill real quick. And everybody's all nice and dry up in there. <laughs> They're mad. I'll get to you in a minute. I got a milk. So, but anyway, 
Here we got our little thing floated there. Um, but all of this, all the waters are full now. Free water, free water. Well, except for the covered ones. It hasn't rained in there, but that's okay. But all this water will flow off, flow into the goat pen and just keep right on flowing out to the road and it'll bypass all the ditches. So Lee and I were talking the other day about um, digging a ditch along every fence line. In other words, right here to carry it right down so that when it does come down, it doesn't just sit stagnant like this. Um, I just don't like that. So he was saying if we put a ditch here, it wouldn't go so much into the goat pen. But if we just take and do a ditch right along there and then have it come down to here, the goat pen would not flood as bad. This front part would, but it'll roll on past and they at least have that dry out there. So we'll see what that does. But um, the whole pasture is pretty much flooded. It will pass, it's good. We needed the rain, the rain makes the grass grow. Grass makes food for all these guys to eat. And yeah, we're gonna go out here and check the man pen that I divided off. Um, I don't want it to be flooding flooding so there's some more out there that we sheared last night they got kind of sheared before all this rain hit but oh well it happens <laughs> it happens doesn't it guys so not gonna few more down it gets hot and then now of course these guys will have to dry out before we can get any more sheared and it's been that way all year every time it lets up we get some in the barn and get them put up and get them sheared so all right, I'm gonna go check the rest of the stalls and I will talk at y'all later. Okay, so I just got done um, doing the other film about the water, how I got it moving. Everything was supposed to roll off. Everything was starting to dry up. I went into milk and yeah, I just got Holly out. I've gotta go put the milk up. It's in the fridge, but it's not done right. And uh, yeah, cleared the pasture and it's thunder and lightning again. So. I'm going to get out of here and get things hey done. Guys, this has been going on about 10 minutes now. As you can see, the whole pasture is flooded. Nothing has anywhere to go. So, um, I'm actually going to open this up. I'm going to go check the goats and see what's going on. Um, and we're going to pray that it stops, really. Um, it just, a couple of clouds just bust and just boom and turned loose and where I had most of the pasture cleared out, <clears throat> I now have nothing cleared out. So I will be out in the mess trying to find my sheep and go a dry spot. Right, it's gonna be one of those days. There was a big boom and a, pa a cloud opened up and the pasture is flooded once again. So I'm going back inside. <laughs> so this is true love. RJ is out. There are six baby chicks that we're acclimating to the new coop and he is out in this trying to find those six chicks um there was nine and we had to move three in the last time it poured down but i couldn't catch them all so he is out trying to find them i don't know if you can even see him going across there he's looking in every pen looking for those baby chicks. There is not a dry spot in sight right now. Rain is actually slowing down, so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy, it is pretty flooded. But this is our rainy season, and we need all this rain to grow lots of hay. Um, this rain helps the grass get ahead of the sheep, too. So, um, while their pasture is pretty short in the winter. Oh, come on, Toby. <laughs> oh, that's a pathetic one. There you go. Um, I'm sorry. It's not funny. He just looks so wet and drowned. Um, most cats come to the back door. <laughs> this time it was, come on, little gray. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. You can tell. Little Gray is, is swarming it. Come on, big guy. I don't have my boots on or I'd go get him. Come on. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty.
kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. Get in here. Oh my gosh. Come on. I know. Come on. Get in here. Come on. You're all right. Come on. Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. Come on. You're all right. Go on. Go on. Oh, Peanut's scaring him off and Jethro. Come on. You're all right. RJ, come get little Gray. Call him. Toby's telling him it's okay. He normally doesn't come in too much. Come on. You just want to stay on the porch? Go get him a little bit to eat here on the porch.